Second Chronicles 10, 16 through 17. When all of Israel saw that the king didn't listen to them, the people answered the king, saying, What portion do we have in David? Why don't you have an inheritance with the son of Jesse? Why, we don't have an inheritance with, in the son of Jesse. Every man to your tent, Israel, now to see your own house, David. So all Israel departed to their tents. So what happened here was they said, what part do we have? We don't recognize you as our king now. You don't want to listen to us, then we don't have to listen to you. And this caused the division. God allowed this. God willed this. We see that in earlier verses. But the people certainly were moved by his rejection of them listening to not him not listening to them. But as for the children of Israel who lived in the cities of Judah, it also includes Benjamin, as we see later. Rehoboam reigned over them. So we see ten tribes no longer being part of the kingdom. This is just in the fourth reign of them having a king. We had uh, Saul, we had David, we had Solomon, now we have Rehoboam, and he could not keep the kingdom together. So it's interesting that God allowed to split so soon. God tried to tell the people having a king would all only cause problems, but they didn't want to listen. While we may have leadership in this world, if we only look to leadership of the world for answer, we're going to find more problems. It, it ain't by donkey. It ain't by um, an elephant. By the lamb. By the lion. By Jesus. That true peace, true prosperity is found. You look to the government, it's going to fail you. You look to politics, to finance, it'll fail you. The banks failed many at the Great Depression. But God can pull us through the hard times. God can give us joy unspeakable when nothing else makes sense. God can give us joy in the worst of our sickness. God can give us joy in the times we're alone. 